Hey guys, the objectives for this video is to find the stress increase, the vertical stress increase, under a point inside a rectangle. So if we were to make up a quick example, let's say we had a rectangle. This is obviously in plan, so looking down bird's eye. <clears throat> so it's A, B, C, D. Let's say that this re rectangle is 10 meters by eight by six meters so we want to find say the vertical stress increase at a point O so let's put that point O there and let's say that this point O will subdivide the rectangle into these shapes now whenever we need whenever we're doing this type of example where we're finding a stress increase in a rectangle we're always concerned about the corners of the rectangle meeting at our point we're interested in. So we're interested at point O. We need to ensure that all the shapes have corners at that point. So you can see this shape here has a corner at O. This one here is a corner at O. This one here is a corner at O. And this one here has a corner at O. It's not so important for this one where we're doing a point inside a rectangle. When we get to the next video where we're looking at a point outside a rectangle, it's going to become more critical. So let's go ahead and split this up. Let's say that this is now 8 meters, 2 meters, 2 meters, and 4 meters. And let's just give uh, other points of definition. So let's call that point E, F, G, and H. Now, just like before, we're going to be using a graph, an influence graph. This one's a bit different, but you can see that we have values of M